All right, so we've done the pipe clamp, we've done the T-junction, and I promised I was gonna do the cross. So this is, again, more pipe stuff. We're gonna bring in a cylinder, and we're gonna make it 18 vertices, and we're gonna choose nothing. Go into edit mode and scale shift Z to make it a little bit narrower. All right, here's what we want to do. We want to go into wireframe mode, and we want to select those vertices right there. Shift S, cursor to select it. Bring the 3D cursor right there. Now we're gonna select all of these on the right side, including, including the middle. Switch the 3D cursor, and we're gonna shear this. Come down to the shear tool, pull down here like this. I'm gonna change this to one. Deselect, now we're gonna select this side, including the middle. Push up and switch this to minus one. Come back to the move tool, select everything, shift D, rotate X 180. Now select everything and merge by distance. We can go back to median point, box select that middle point and all these ones on the right. E, come out, scale X zero. Box select all these points. E, come out, SX zero. All right, box select the top and the bottom and scale Z zero. And we have a T. Okay, add an edge loop and bring it in like this. An edge loop here, an edge loop here, and an edge loop here. All right, go back into solid view and control two for two subdivisions and shade smooth. What I would probably do at this point is shift alt and click all of these edges here I'm going to switch to individual origins and I can scale all of them at the same time but press E first E and S and do that and then shift alt and click the edges all the way around like this I'll go back to median point and bevel control B pull something like this maybe put one in there and we have this you, it's up to you if you want to put more uh, edges or if you don't like that bevel I probably also would grab these edges here like this and go E and S Z and pull them in a little ways and then maybe put an edge loop up like that and then I would grab these ones E and S X and pull and that way you have like it's a little bit of a lip for when you want to put your pipe uh, inside there. And to do that, you could uh, quickly grab a, a circle, let's say. I'll just do one of these quickly. Pull that up, P and separate it out. And then E to extrude, we'll pull it down in. And I'll take this edge and I'll E and S, I'll come out a ways, come up, and I'll throw some edges on here to sharpen this up a little bit. Maybe there, maybe another one going up, maybe even another one going down. Up to you how much you want to do, shade smooth. And then I like to put that fake thread on there. So just a few edge loops in there on E and Alt S and push. I'll take the whole thing and scale shift Z to make it fit a bit better. Pull it in like that. So I've got that there. And then I can extend that pipe. My 3D cursor is still in the middle, so I'll switch over to 3D cursor and I shift D, rotate X 180. Take the whole thing, shift D, rotate Y 90. And I have pipes coming out in every single direction. Okay, only thing I might would want to, want to do is select everything and Alt N, recalculate outside just in case, but it looks relatively all right. So now we've got pipe clamps, we've got a T junction, we've got a cross junction and uh, we're good to go with pipes.